Hi everyone, this is Mohamed Azam, and I'm starting a new series on learning the iOS development. Okay, and this is the first part actually, introduction to iOS development. So in this part, basically, I will describe if you are completely new to the iOS Apple platform, what you will need to get started with iOS development, what physical devices you need, what software, what applications you need, and what kind of subscription plans you need. So things you will need, a Mac, okay? Now you can make your personal computer as a Hackintosh, but I mean, it will be a much better idea to actually invest in a Mac. iPhone, iPod, or iPad. Okay, if you want to develop for an iPhone, you must have an iPhone physical device. If you want to develop for the iPad, you must have the iPad. Although the you can of, of course test on a simulator, but you know when you deploy your app, it is a much better idea. It is recommended that you test it on a real device. So that's why if you do not have an iPhone. Uh, get an iPhone, get an iPod Touch, or get an iPad. The visual editor where we will be writing our code is known as Xcode, and uh, you can get it for free if you sign up for the Apple Developer Program. And actually, you have to sign up for the Apple Developer Program in order to run your app on your own device for testing. Yes, in order to run your own app, which you develop, and you need to run it on your own personal iPhone or iPod or iPad, you need to get the Apple Developer Program, which I'll explain later. So Mac, if you're interested in buying a Mac, there are a couple of options. The, the cheapest one is Mac Mini. Uh, I think it's like 600 bucks. It's a toaster size CPU. It's a toaster size box, and you will connect it to your external display, which is a monitor, and to a keyboard. Uh, you can also buy a MacBook and you can also buy a MacBook Pro which I have it's a 13 uh, inch or 13.3 inches and if you like desktop computers then you can buy an iMac devices as I said in the first slide iPhone iPod iPad if you're developing for the iPhone get an iPhone which will kind of mimics the iPod uh, if you're developing for the iPad get an iPad Visual Editor, again, is Xcode, and you can get it for free if you sign up for the Apple Developer Program. The programming language we'll be using is Objective-C language. It's between the C and the C++ language. It's a pretty cool language, actually. All right, here we go. Apple Developer Program. If you want to develop for the Mac computer, which is the physical, the computer itself, the Macintosh, then it will be $99 per year. That's a subscription fee. Okay, if you want to develop for the devices, which means iPhone, iPad, iPod, it's also $99 per year. All right. And that's pretty much it. So that will get you started. Now you have a basic idea of how and what things are actually necessary to get started with, um, you know, with iPhone development and hopefully in the next tutorial we'll actually dive into Xcode, see different options, see different type of projects that we can create and we'll go from there. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video.